Allow me to introduce you to the brand new 690 bhp Lamborghini Aventador LP704. Not perhaps the most ethical car that we will test this year, but it's easily one of the fastest cars we will test this year, and it's definitely one of the loudest. <laughs> Now Lamborghini, as we all know, doesn't do anything by halves, which is why just about everything that moves in the Aventador is new, inside and out. But as with any Lamborghini, the bit that matters most is the engine. And in the Aventador's case, that means an all-new 6.5-litre V12 that produces enough power to illuminate Blackpool and enough torque to impress Australia. This being a Lamborghini, there are all sorts of controversial elements to it, but probably the biggest, styling-wise, are these instruments. I am completely split on them, actually, because on the one hand, they're really, really clear to read, but on the other hand, they look a bit sort of naff, I think. See what you think, look. So you've got the speedometer up there. It's all in digital. If I press the stalk, it then becomes a rev counter. Hmm, don't know, jury's out on that. But you don't come on the launch of a Lamborghini to look at or moan about its instruments. Instead, you come to do things like this. We can come back in a while to what this car is like on the track. For the time being, we're just going to concentrate on the road, which is a real privilege, actually, because I don't think that, as yet, anyone else has been allowed to drive it on the road. And it is difficult to know quite where to start, because it's pretty special, everything it does this car except for ride well. As you can tell from Mr. Cameraman there bouncing up and down, this is not a particularly comfortable car. The flip side to that, of course, is that you get absolutely pinprick sharp handling and steering and braking. Everything this thing does dynamically, in terms of going quickly, it does just brilliantly. The turning is, is immense on this car. The brakes really are out of this world. I've, you know, you will not come across a better set of brakes in a road car than this. The grip and the traction is off a dial. I mean, it's not just the fact that it's four-wheel drive. This thing has stuck to the road. Ultimately, though, when you drive this car, there is one defining aspect of it, and it's not the steering, no matter how good that is, it's not the ride, it's not the handling, it's not the gear change, <laughs> it's the engine. 6.5 litres of V12 engine has to dominate the driving experience, no matter how good the rest of the car is, and this is why. track what is the Aventador like well unfortunately this track is completely soaked but I tell you what it is very very composed this car very quick amazingly agile for such a big I was about to say heavy but of course it's actually not that heavy because of the carbon tub it only weighs as much as a 3 series and it has 690 bhp Brakes are monster. They really are fantastic brakes. Gear change. Let's talk a little bit about the gear change. On the road, it's good. It's great. But on the track, <sighs> um, I mean, it's not a patch on a 458 dual clutch or a McLaren MP412C. Not a patch in terms of gear change speed, gear change smoothness. It's not a strong point, but what is, The motor. Lipping egg. This is a fast car. I like it. I love it. I love it. I love the pomp. I love the noise. I love the drama. <sighs> Not sure about the price. Quarter of a million pounds. So, conclusions. What do we actually think about the Aventador? Not a lot 
I can add to that really, it's fantastic. <laughs>